that won't work, will it? Now, and you know, Glenn, I, I don't envy these teams' positions. You know, if uh, on the Western Cup cars, if we make a change at the halfway point and it's the wrong way, we got trouble over in turn four. Scott Legacy uh, involved there. Car number 14 also looks like truck number 81. I said car, that's truck number 81. Uh, that would be Jerry Glanville, I believe, is the truck sitting there now. Yes, it is. That's Glanville sitting dead still. He has refired the truck now and will pull it away, but he did lose the lap. We see. Uh, we can get the cameras. You see the damage, the front end damage there on Glanville. There's also severe left front fender damage on Sammy Swindell's truck as he cuts across the infield. We'll get a picture of that here a little bit later. He's heading to the pits. So Swindell sustained damage there. Let's take a look at what happened. You see Swindell's truck there right now making his way back to the pits, followed by Scott Lagsy. Here we go. And coming off the corner, it looks like uh, Glanville got tagged. Oh, yeah, you see Swindell's already spun around back there. Oh, that's John Kinder. Swindell comes in later with P.J. Jones. Boy, that was a really a mix up there. Really hard to say what happened there first, whether it was uh, Kinder or whether it was Jerry Glanville that got loose, and of course it was just the uh, domino effect from there. Yeah, everybody trying to uh, put the brakes on, come to stop, and some did faster.